When bad cops abuse their power, it breaks the trust we have in them. These actions hurt people and damage the justice system, but there are times where they are caught. The first case involves officers who escalated a minor complaint from a small dog into a dramatic and abusive confrontation with an entire family. This is a your next door neighbor? Or? No, no, she stays in the house right, um, right there. The one she's talking to right here. Gotcha. I just went down, I talked to her. And what's the dog warden want with you? I he was like, man, I'm gonna shoot your dog. I don't care about what you're saying. And he told my kids, shut up and run in the house. And I seen the gun. I, I, I ain't seen no badge or nothing. He just was like, well. Okay. Yeah, like he was gonna reach for his gun and shoot. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll go talk to him. Listen, I didn't listen. I didn't put no gun on nobody. I didn't threaten. No, listen, I, he's fine. He let me listen. take his gun. No, wait a minute. You can burn my name. I know. Yeah, no, you you were you were fine. You let me take it. I didn't come we're off cool. the porch. No, nope. I you were fine. The, look at the 911 call and listen what I'm saying. Listen, I'll I'll run it. Run right here, right here. I'm not I'm not running. I'm not having a they problem with you. See, th this dude, I'm just here because he was having this a problem. Guy, this guy, right here, attitude was so. What is, what is he here Shoot for? Shoot my dog. What is he here for? Did we get past that? What are you here for? This dog was over at that lady's house. She's writing a statement. Went after her and her little dog. She had to scoop her dog up. Hey, ma'am. Hey, did me and you talk earlier? Okay. And then what was your plan? My plan was to write him a ticket, have him go out, get a dog license, and I would void the ticket. Pulling a gun on the warden wasn't needed, but the cops were just as bad with their rude attitude. They seem dead set on proving the man wrong before even understanding his point fully. Well, you, you brought the dog out and tied it no, up I on didn't. Leash no, I like an intimidation thing while I'm standing no, up on the did. front porch. Officer. The dog's running around my, my feet. Officer. I asked him to put the dog back he in the house. You sure, the dog the dog. Dog. Oh, he said you didn't have to, have to put the dog in the house. The dog wouldn't bite you. I said, well, I Officer. appreciate Please, if you put the dog in the house. If not, if the dog comes after me when I go to my van, I shoot it if it comes after me. That is a if it comes after you. That is a lie. Hey, you said You're if a lie. the dog comes out and bites you, I'm going to shoot. You did not say if the dog comes to your bank, you're going to shoot. You're exactly so right. That's my dog. That. Don't you call my dog. Hey, 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 hey. Stop right now. Don't you call my dog. Stop. Stop. Hey, stop. Absolutely not. Don't you call my dog. Hey, hey, relax. Relax. Or you can go to the car. I'm going to go to the car. I'm going to go to the car. Relax. What do I do? Let go of him. Listen, you're under arrest. Come to my car before this gets way out of here. What is he under arrest for? What is he being detained 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 for? What is he being Hey, no, stop, no, 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 officer practically shoved that guy while taunting him with challenging statements. The arrest was utterly unfair, and dragging and throwing people on the floor was just downright wrong. In the aftermath of this chaotic incident in Canton, 
Potential charges against the officers could include excessive force and civil rights violations. Police rarely own up to their mistakes, just like this next officer who dragged an elderly man simply because the man didn't admit he was in the wrong. On May 30th, 2021 in Idaho, a neighbor feud took a terrifying turn. What should have been a simple complaint shifted shockingly when 75-year-old Michael Clark was tased and then dragged unconscious through the hallway by the cops. Right to the f mouth. He is an older man. I I honestly don't know. When you get knocked the f out, you don't really. We just moved in the okay. When did this happen? Twenty minutes, fifteen. I like I called. Not I even. Met, yeah, not even. I called like I walked in the door <laughs> and. Uh, he busted all of my f my nose, my mouth. The girl was totally smashed and rambling nonsense. It was impossible to believe anything she said. She was nowhere near sober. Was he white, black? He's Hispanic. white. Does he have hair? Yeah. He bald? So gray like, hair? Yeah, gray hair. He's an older guy. He's you know, this tall. That, and that guy lives right there in that room. And that's where the wall would go. And he was seeing him Bang, before. bang, bang. That's so, what woke me up. We just, I, we just moved in here yesterday, but I saw him like yesterday. Last night. wrong with that cop? Tasing a 75-year-old man without any proper investigation or concrete proof was shockingly barbaric and highly unprofessional, especially over a complaint from a drug addict and alcoholic. That officer was absolutely twisted. Nothing except 
Glad they were sleeping. Okay. And, and so I'll go talk were, to her. Okay. And they were banging to the wall. I mean, Are you loud. Good? It was downright sickening to watch. The way they dragged Michael was beyond appalling. The officers are complaining that Michael had a weapon, ignoring that they never announced themselves while knocking. This is why we need body cams. And I thought it was them coming after me. These people were... I mean, an officer, I was just... These people over there were... They hit my walls so hard, I thought they were coming through it. You know that? What's that? They hit that wall of my there. I thought they were coming through it. Okay, all right. All right, here, here, here's, what, what's your name? What's your first name? Mike. Mike? Okay, you're under arrest right now, okay? So you have the right to remain silent? Sure, she's been drinking. Okay, I get that, and that's part of my. It doesn't even matter. That's yeah, my own. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, that's, that's my. When I have somebody here. banging on the wall oh, yeah, and they punch me in my face, right? Because I ask him, "Is that's, there? Am I being too loud?" That's why we're here. I'm here for. Yes, we're here for you. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What, what's your name again? What's your name again? Brittany. Brittany. My name's Ellie. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. All right. Officers treated Michael like a dangerous criminal instead of just an old guy caught up in a neighborhood argument. People lie all the time, but the cops didn't care to think that maybe they should have treated everyone fairly until they knew what was really going on. Michael was seriously injured, and he was taken to the hospital. At the end of the ordeal, Idaho Springs reached a settlement in the case involving 75-year-old Michael Clark. The settlement included a $7 million payout to Clark. The officers involved faced scrutiny, and the department agreed to implement new policies to prevent similar incidents in the future. Cops are supposed to be on top of things, but this next one took active duty to a whole new level, turning his life into chaos instantly. On July 6, 2024, at 12.50 a.m., a safety complaint in Springfield involving Sonia Massey turned into a terrifying killing zone when Deputy Sean Grayson brutally ended her life. The horrific incident sent shockwaves through the community. Sheriff's office, the one you called. Is this your car over here? Please, uh, please, uh, please. Is this your car over here? Uh -uh. Oh. Please, uh, That's not your black car in the driveway? Oh, well, we checked your yard. We walked around the whole block. We didn't see anybody. What do you need help with? Nothing. I just, please, uh, please, uh, please. I don't know what to do. Do with what? Huh? What do you need help with? Nothing. I just wanted to see if I could help me. What do you want help with? Huh? What do you want help with? Huh? I heard somebody outside. Yeah, we checked your house, we checked your backyard. I walked all the way through all these backyards. We checked your front yard. We didn't see nobody, so nobody's out here. We didn't see anybody. Nope, nope. Oh. Checked the whole area. Okay. What took you so long to answer the door? Oh, I was trying to put on some clothes, sir. I'm sorry, I was trying to get I got this. you. All right. Sorry. Is there anything else we can do for you? Yeah. Is there anything else I can do for you? Um, no, sir. Okay, okay, sorry. all right. Doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure? My medicine stuff. All right. Okay. I love y'all. Thank y'all. <laughs> all right. That's not your black car, though. SUV? Mm -hmm. Whose is it? Uh, you don't know? It's someone just parked it in your driveway? Mm -hmm. They brought it to my driveway. And just left it? Mm -hmm. Grayson's attitude was outrageous. He questioned the lady's mental health, even though she was just a woman living alone. All of this while she specifically asked him not to rush her right after she opened the door. It was totally uncalled for.
beer in my house right now. No, hold on, wait a second, wait a second, sir. You can hang up, Carlos. You're there with the deputy, correct? No, hold on, okay? You're going to hang up. Hold on for one. Uh, just one second, okay? <laughs> yeah, I can check out. Okay. Has there, was there any damage previous to your car? Uh, previous, yeah, there okay, was. Okay, what was the damage? A dent, I believe. What about windows? Oh, that it was something that happened earlier. Okay, perfect. Uh, what is your last name? Uh, Shouldn't have to take much last name. Okay. You're not in trouble. I just need to Massey. attach. Massey. Huh? Massey. Yeah. What happened? You have an ID that makes things so much easier. I, I just need to get just driver's license will do, and I'll get out of your hair. I want to show y'all my paperwork. I will what? get your paperwork. What paperwork? Okay. I got some paperwork. We'll just get your ID. Real well, let's get your ID session. first, and then one task at a time here. Okay. First, he told her to focus on one task, but ignored Sonia's attempt to show her paperwork to find her ID. Instead, he rushed her to turn off the stove. Grayson himself was unsure of what he actually wanted. Where am I? You see that stack right there, maybe? I was on, I was on. I'm gonna go get my kit. No, your head's not dude. You're, you're done. You can go get it, but that's a headshot. <clears throat> God damn. God. Dude, I'm not taking a boring water in head. Hey, look, it came right to our feet, too. God damn. This was sheer inhumanity. He first shot Sonya in the head and then refused to even get her medical help. She was treated like a suspect in her own home. Sonia didn't deserve any of that. You good? All right. Well, that was a good one. Well, I mean, you know, what else do we do? I'm not taking hot boiling water to the face and it already reached us. Fuck. <clears throat> They got a 52 in route? Yeah, 1078. She's still breathing, but she's losing a lot of blood from the head. I'll go get my med kit. Go, go get, yeah, hurry, get your med kit. I mean, there's not much we can do. We can at least try and hold the, stop the blood. Do we got any call history with her being 1096? So, is there anything you think we can do for her? No. Alright, I'm not even going to waste my med stuff then. You want to run down real quick? Nope, not yet. Alright. House is clear. She was the only one. Where'd you go? No, she had a boiling water and came at me with boiling water. You sure? Yeah. She said she was gonna rebuke me in the name of Jesus and came out with blowing water. That's what all this is. I was standing right here. All right. And that's where he's landed. <clears throat> what do y'all need from us? Just nothing right now. Just hang out out there for me. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> She spotted the demon the moment he walked into the house, and the lies Grayson spun were shocking. Even the other cop could tell his partner was completely out of line. Anything on suspect? 
B. <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't yeah. know what happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, he's got tape. I, I think I got a roll. I got some coming up. Killing an innocent, harmless person and then calling her a crazy bitch spoke volumes about the whole incident. This cop was nothing short of a devil. His actions were absolutely terrifying. After the fatal shooting, Grayson faced criminal charges, including manslaughter. The Illinois sheriff resigned amid the controversy, and Grayson has been held in prison. The legal process is ongoing, and sentencing will depend on the court's proceedings and the outcome of the trial. What's the badge number? I gave it to you two times, man. Okay, I'm asking again. And I'm not giving it to you. Okay. On August 09, 2022, in Atlanta, Georgia, an after-hours parking citation took a wild turn when a woman refused to sign the ticket. What followed was a jaw-dropping display of extreme force by Deputy Brooke and a complete breakdown in communication. All right, sir, like I explained to you, uh, you can't be in the park at night. Everyone was going to receive a uh, simple ticket stating that uh, he was in the park at the house. All right? I need to sign right on the head. Where am I signing over? Is it, is it a charge or anything? Or is it just, uh, just a ticket? Come over here for me, ma'am. Can you come here, ma'am? All right, so you're going to receive a ticket for being in the park after hours. All right? Just need to sign right here on the X. But because we're out of, didn't you say we were out of time so we wouldn't have known that? Yeah, but that's, that's not a valid reason why. You should be in the park because you're from out of time. And what's your back name? 7452, Officer Brooks. What's your first name? I'm not, I'm not going to give you my first name. Okay, and I don't have to sign this, right? You do have to sign it. No, I don't. Okay. Well, like I explained to him, if you don't sign it, then mm -hmm. you're going to be physically taken to jail. Gotcha. So you refusing to sign? What's your name? Officer Brooks, 7452. She only asked for the badge number and name, but Officer Brooke acted like he was superior. He demanded answers but refused to field any questions himself just because he was a cop. What's the badge number? I gave it to you two times, man. Okay, I'm asking again. And I'm not giving it to you. Okay. Are you going to sign it? No, because I want your badge okay. number. Running for chance behind your back for me? Hey, listen, my man. She says she's not signing it. Put your hands behind your back. Sir, ma'am. You're hurting me. Okay. I'm asking you to put your hands behind your back. Um, sir. Put your hands behind your back. Sir. Ma'am, put your hand behind your back. Come on. I need you to back up. I'm just saying, like, I need you, you to back you up. You don't need to touch her like that. She's, she's, she's not putting her hands she behind was, her back. I'm asking, and I'm asking she a question. Asking for the okay. I'm, I'm just, all I'm doing is asking. Put your hands behind your back. I asked you to sign the ticket. You told me you're not signing. I, but, sir, put your hands I, behind I'm your asking back. your question. Okay. I'm letting you know. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm going to forcibly put your hands behind your back. But, sir, Mr. Brooks, is this really necessary? Mr. Brooks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, listen, my she man. Needs back put, up. She needs to put her, let her, let can her, I, her phone down. Okay, you can put down. your phone down. Okay, let Mr. Put, Brooks. Give her a to Come oh on, my sir. God. Hold on. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not saying that I'm refusing to sign the ticket. I'm going to no, sign the ticket. You don't have an option now. Because I'm, I'm, but I'm going to sign the ticket, Mr. Brooks. I'm going to sign the ticket. I'm going to sign the ticket. No, I'm not here to play games with you. I know, but I'm going to sign. Put your I'm, hands behind your back. I'm going, Mr. Brooks, I'm going to sign it. I'm going to sign the ticket now. Mr. Brooks, I'm going to sign the ticket. You don't have the option now. Why don't I have the option, Mr. Brooks? Because I gave you two options. 
All this nonsense should have ended the moment she said she was going to sign the ticket. Standing in the park after hours shouldn't have led to such brutal treatment. to the ground and arresting her without answering her questions was beyond outrageous. Instead of making us feel safe, these officers turned into a nightmare. Can I please have my phone, sir? Mr. Brooks, can I please have my phone? Please. You're in custody. Can you give Mr. Nick my phone, please? Yeah, I can give him your phone. Can you please give him my phone? That's fine. Thank you, sir. Nick, can you please get my phone? Mr. Boyce is gonna give you my phone, Nick. Oh my 
Unfortunately, the next group of officers was held in check by auditors who ensured that their abuse of power did not go unchecked. Here is a GIS survey showing the difference between private and public property. There's a lake here called St. Mary's Lake, and the rich people like to tell folks that it's a private lake. It's not, and as you can see here, there's red lines going around the lake. That's all public access and public property, showing that it is in fact a public lake. Now the white roads, those are all public roads. Now the property owners there will lie and tell people that it's a private lake. Even the real estate agents sell it as a private lake. It's not. What these real estate agents say is you see all these houses, private property, and you see everything going down up to the water, private property. It's not. It's actually public property. And even the prosecutor of this county, one of the guys that's been really going after shots, he lives there. Uh, and how much would the property value go down if that went from a private beach to a public beach? After explaining the whole situation, he arrives at one of the public roads leading up to the lake, where he is confronted by the nastiest Karen. Um, this is where we are. Right here, this line that goes down, public access. Um, and now I guess they, they call the cops. And there's a, a, an insane looking Karen on her way, I think, to yell at James Freeman. What's she say? Okay, thank you. Oh man. Foul mouth Karen called the cops on Joshua and his friends, and when they reached the exit, they were surprised to see how crazy the Karen actually was. Alright, so we're coming back out to the main road. Oh shoot, somebody's blocked the access. Oh, this is the crazy lady, I think. Did she block the public access? Has she got us boxed in here? She does, yeah. She has us detained? Held yes. against our will? I don't want to be here. What? <laughs> what is this? She's got us held against our will. Well, what do we do about that? I don't, I don't know. What do you do about that? I don't know. She's got us held against our will here now. Hey, we were uh, trying to pull out to the road there. Somebody's like access blocked. Oh, are we are we kidnapped? Are you holding us hostage here, ma'am? Are we allowed to leave now? Ultimately, the police arrive, but how would they take the side of the rich land grabbers or the innocent civilians who were just at a public lake? Oh, I've, uh, I've got see, documentation to show you it's not. Also, it's on the county website. Right here, sir. I understand. Anybody that. can tell anybody. Well, I can just. Well, we've got documentation. Yeah, that's, that's so this is where we're at right here. Mm -hmm. Yep. The public access road. Mm -hmm. Everything in red is public. I understand. And this what is from the county. Violation of Michigan MCL. Okay. Access to a public okay. through a public this and we, not, we checked with the county too. So you see, the, this, you see it now. This is not going to be settled today. So I would ask that you wait for another day so that we can make sure that we're properly informed. Is it under threat of arrest? That's as, all I'm asking. If you threaten to arrest us if we put the boat in the water, we absolutely will not. Okay. Well, you could be arrested for trespass. Yeah. How is that? This is public property. No, I don't know I can that. take you and show you the public so, utilities. Yeah. I, I have it right you, here. I understand the GIS map. That's I can not, take you is, and show you the public utilities down here. Sir. And there's a relay at the bottom. We'll let you know, okay? <laughs> we're going to look further into it. So rich, you know. rich people can kick you off public property? That's how it is in Calvin County? I, I'm not arguing with you. I'm just saying the county says it's public. They give us this and make sure that we're in the right place. Now, you're telling us that the county association person said that it's private. So when did they change it from like private to public? Because this was printed today. Okay. Rich people. Win Lieutenant, when is when was this change from private to public? Because as far as today is concerned, the county tells us this is public. 
We'll have this hashed out. It's not going to happen. Yet. Okay, but if this is public property, hashing it out doesn't work. Sir, sir, I have one more question. It's something that was, that was just printed. Yeah, out. but it is the official GIS. You can Correct. see it. It's Correct. It's from today. The GIS is in. It's from the county. At least one cop was making out what the situation was, but either because of peer pressure or something else, he could not act against his supervisors. Yeah, the flashback. If, if you're saying that we're not incorrect, and that doesn't mean necessarily that they're correct, right? We don't know at this point. Saying, I don't know. Then why we're do gonna, I have to leave and give up my rights? We're on the side of the people who have the most money. I think we, we err on the side of the way it has been until we know we are correct to change it. So I, I, I hear what you're saying, and it, and it sounds like we're saying we're siding with them. All we're saying is we're going to side with the way things have been until I know for certain I can tell them you are wrong. And we seem to be the same one. This lady, this la this Karen right here is bash crazy. Well, she came I right up in my face, spit all over my face. So I was just speaking to Officer Wolf. If it turns out that we were accurate, Lieutenant Martins, then we're, we're good to go. But then what about how we made whole? We're threatened with the penalties of arrest to leave a place that we were never we never had to leave. Okay. Does that sound fair or righteous? We'll figure it out. That's not how justice works though, right? That's what you- I don't know, bud. I mean, but, but you should. I don't know, bud. You should. You have a good day. Is this still private property? No, this isn't private property to begin with. This certainly isn't. Just kidding. Do you officers see an MCL on this sign? Any one of you can read? You see an MCL on so that sign anywhere? Could that? Do you care to know what the law is? Because that sign means nothing without an MCL. Hey, that's interesting. They have the association bylaws on the screen. Not a one of them says that it's not publicly accessible. What's that? This cop car has the association bylaws on the screen, and not one of them says anything that this is that lake access or any of that so access they, is private. So it even tells them on their computer That's that it's it. not private. Look at He's it. He's got it up. He pulled up the bylaws. He checked. Lake association yeah, but besides look, that, even their bylaws say look. You can read. Right. You can read through this. So, they're here to so they know. Lake association James, look. So basically, the cops knew that Joshua and his friends were not in the wrong, but it was a matter of ego now. God forbid these tyrants can take a loss and do the right thing for once. Joshua then finds out that the police had been keeping tabs on one of his friends, Justin. Justin shots driving slowly by John Jones. That's oh, one. Justin shots you have, driving slowly by Joni Jones. You have 24 linked events just from the past week. Wow. So they're just saying where you are when so you're driving. Stalking 24/7. That read the screen yourself. Wow. Look at it. You can read it without having oh, to zoom in. Justin computer. shots driving slowly by Joni Jones. So anyone in the community can see Justin. They can say Justin shots needs to let out the seam of his pants because he's swinging big. So by they, by by James Freeman. So this police department is literally stalking your every move and putting notes in their system about yeah. where you are and where you're going at all times. How fast or slow you're going? Well, that's there. I think that's from a citizen because there's no officer with that name on the. That's from Joni Jones, the township supervisor. Okay, that so that's from a. Oh, it's the township supervisor. Well, that's she right. was disgraced and forced to resign. All right, fellas, we'll see you at the meeting tonight. Thanks for at least having a civil conversation. Do my best. Appreciate it. Nice Thanks, man. You. That's not my last name. You wouldn't happen to be the same lieutenant that had a drunk driving thing, were you? Have a good night, sir. So. Would you not remember because you were drunk or what? These cops got an absolute teardown. After the incident, the police did in fact reach out to Joshua regarding the issue, and their answer was not what you'd normally expect. Now we've been trespassed from a public property that they insisted was private, and they said they'd get back to us. Well, they did get back to us, and it turns out we were right. It was public all along, so they abused their authority under the color of law. And now we have an intent letter sent to Battle Creek and that homeowners association on the lake. But this court case won't just be interesting because we're going to take a ton of money from Battle Creek. It's going to be interesting because a federal judge is going to look at the case. And the very first step they're going to take is making sure the lake is actually public and the roads accessible to the lake are public before they can do anything else. And that federal judge is very quickly going to affirm what Battle Creek just recently has. And with that, it looks like the war at Battle Creek will finally be over and justice prevails. Thanks to Joshua and his friends, this land-grabbing issue was brought to light. 
and this shows just how important auditors are to our society. Surprisingly, this wasn't the last time a police officer was owned and humbled by an auditor. Bro, let's talk if today. you're scared for your job, get a different job, brother. If you're scared, if you're that big of a sissy, get a different job, brother. The First Amendment auditor, who goes by the name News Now South Carolina, decided to audit the McDowell County Sheriff's Office's parking lot. But as we know very well, this wasn't going to be an audit without any problems. Hello, how you doing? Hey, um, I work for a news media group. I'll be doing some coverage on the upkeep of the service cars out in the parking lot. Just want to come let y'all know that I'll be out there. Hello, how you doing? Hey, I work for a news media group. I'm, I'm self-employed. I'll be doing a, a cover story about the upkeep of the service cars out in the parking lot, the marking on my cars. So I'll be in and out of both parking lots. Just want to come let y'all know that I'll be out there. Thank I'm you. Rather not give it. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, I mean, if you're not going to give us a name or tell us what it's for, well, I, it's just it, it's just personal publication. That's all. That's all it is. What, but what is it concerning? I mean, what mark versus unmarked? We can't your publication. I, well, once I release it, I'm sure to be it be viewable everywhere. I just haven't released the story yet, nor have I released the core of the yet. So I just but I can't say much. Concerning. I mean, just public. Just that's it. Yeah, I'm, I'm Captain. I'm Captain Grand Steph. Nice Sheriff's to meet you, partner. Good to meet you. Like I just explained to her, I've mm -hmm. done nothing wrong. I'm just out here taking pictures, and I'll be on my way. She's asked me for my name. They've asked me for ID, and I've done nothing wrong. Okay. And the first thing you asked me was for my ID, and I've done nothing wrong. Do you, you have warrants or anything? Do you expect me having a warrant? I don't know. Well, well, I don't understand so why who you are all, all of you people here? Can I have I'm name Chief, and badge numbers? I'm Chief Deputy Nathan Mays. Nathan Don't Mays. Here and sit down top of You're me. Andy. This is Jason. And who are you? Smith. Smith. Yeah. You're, Why are you taking pictures of our cars? Because you're on our property. They're public. This is public property. These are public service vehicles. Why are you taking pictures of them? Because Some of these are undercover cars. But they're in so public. So you know who view. comes and take pictures of undercover cars? Drug dealers. Well, that's your perception. Okay. I can't. I can't judge you We're for your perception. You if you gonna, give yeah. Well, sir, this is public okay. property, and if you ask me, to leave public property. It's that is county property. Which is public. This is tax funded. This isn't paid for through some public. Um, I mean, some private you got organization. Any ID on it? I do not. I haven't committed a crime, so you don't need my, I, I don't want to give, I haven't committed a crime. And this isn't a stop in ID state, you have to be able to give me reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime, and you can't give me that. Okay, well we have undercover cars that don't need to be, you're to leave this okay. property now, sir, you need to leave. Can I ask you what your job title is here? I'm captain. You're captain. Yeah. So as captain, you don't know that you can't tell me to leave from a public can, space. I can tell you to leave. But this is public, and I can tell, tell you, you but this is public okay. property, sir. Okay, this we is don't public. Need our vehicles. Well, this isn't about what you need. This is about the Constitution okay. telling me that I have the right to my first, second, fourth, okay, and fifth well, amendment. If you're done taking video, then you you can tell us why you're taking video. I'm gonna step pictures. this way because I don't like this officer behind me. I'm gonna step this way. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna stand this okay. way so I can see him. That's all. Yep, I can see him. But again, you I'm can tell I'm us why you're videoing and because the Constitution my says I can. If you want to take that up, you go. That's take that up before founding father of the country. Okay. The Constitution tells me I can do this. And it's and it's and it's and it's unconstitutional for you to allow him to tell me that I have to leave this public space when this That's is public right, property. Right. That is unconstitutional and that is against your oath. Okay. That is against your oath. Here we go. We're asking you to leave. All I want you to do is honor your oath, sir. I'm not giving you I'm my name. You, I, Just honor your oath. Officer, oh, listen to me, okay? okay. There's a gap well, between Americans. Be. But well, there's a you to stand here and photograph our cars. Y'all drive your cars and people can see me in public. What's the difference? If my eyes can see him, so can my camera. What's the difference? The auditor sure schooled them on the law. But the captain grew more agitated with each passing second. Y'all don't drive these cars on. You're not going to ID, you're going to leave. Sir, I don't have to leave because I'm not telling you my name. Tell me, tell me the statute that says if you don't identify yourself to a police officer, you're you have to leave. But that's not a crime. That's not a felony nor misdemeanor, and you should know that. That's not a felony or a misdemeanor. Okay, do you have any weapons on your? I don't. Do you can you mind if I check you? Pat me down, please, okay. sir. He's gonna pat me down. Go ahead. There's no weapons on, on me. You're gonna be on our property. That's fine. Okay. That's fine, sir. Please search all you need. I have nothing on me yet, you other than my keys. Don't have any weapons. No, sir. You can check both legs. That's. Uh, I'm literally just here to take pictures and videos. But I just don't think hey, it's fair. Are you done? You've been here for a few minutes. Are you done uh, taking I'm, your pictures? I'm not. And videos? I, I would have been done if I didn't get interrupted. But. But what I don't agree to is that there's some few high-ranking officers here who I respect their work from you guys. But to allow him to go against his oath and tell me that I have to leave a public space, that's unconstitutional. And there's already a gap between Americans and LEOs because of this type of stuff. 
and for you to allow him to tell me that I that he can make me leave public property, that's unconstitutional. Well, so can you please correct this officer? Now you're talking to me. Okay. Well, can you please correct this officer and, and ask him to honor his oath when dealing with law-abiding citizens? Okay. That's all I want you to do. Okay, we're trying to protect our officers. But your job is to protect What's the public. What you doing with that camera, putting that stuff wherever it's going to end up, whether it be social media or whatever? But you're a public servant. But you're a public you servant. You don't put that badge on to come make sure he's safe you every day. You understand what I'm saying? I do, but I don't want you to okay. understand what I'm saying. You just allowed this officer to try to violate my rights, and you didn't no, say sir, nothing about no, it. Sir, did not. Yes, you did. There's five or six officers out here. Listen to this man tell me that I have to leave this public okay. space, and Are I can't. Done? No, I'm not done. I'm not done. And if y'all are going to follow and harass me. We're not harassing you. The mayor. You come on our property, sir. This is my property. Let me explain something to you. This is not. This is county property. Which is public. public. Which what I'm telling you is this, okay? In here. When we run a facility here, a detention okay. facility and everything else. It's got inmates confined in here. So when somebody's up here, they don't want to tell us their name or what they're doing here. We get suspicious. So what I'm telling you is that you can leave this property now. or you, It's county-owned property, and what? you're going to get charged with trespassing, okay? Can so I see the affidavit? Well, I'm asking you to leave now. Okay? Well, can I ask you a question? So, no. I'm, I'm on my way out, but I'm asking you a question. Leave, okay? So you're asking me to leave. So you're not telling me that I'm by law you, I have to. I'm there's... asking you to please leave this property, okay? Or you want to arrest me? I'm, I'm telling you, you're, there's a good chance you're going to end up getting charged with trespassing if you don't leave. But okay? I haven't been put on trespassing here. But you're being told I'll, now. But, okay, that so we're, I'll leave. You're, you're under acting threat. very suspicious but, to us because you don't want to tell us anything about it. But have I committed a crime? We've got, we have got I'm not common. inside there, sir. I'm not inside. Got, well, yeah, we have an outside. I'm sorry. I'm talking to his officer here. Okay, but I haven't crossed not one of them gates. I am outside. When, when the I'm people of the public want to come in this building, when pe where do they park? And people, there and here. We, you got your photo. You took a photo or whatever it is. That's fine. Now, now we're asking that you leave, okay? The authorities accepted that he was not breaking any laws, yet they still wanted him removed from the premises. Again, this was more of an ego thing than anything close to breaking the law. But for what crime, sir? Because I'm telling you, you're, very, you're I'm making you suspicious. We just checked me. I don't have any weapons. What can I do? I don't have a self-detonating bomb. Blow everybody up. I don't have anything okay, well, on listen, me. We're not going to sit here and argue or anything. We're just asking you, because like, we have jobs to do, too. What well, okay? do them? I'm not telling you not to do your job. Well, I please, have a job to do. Please leave, okay? You from just please. I'm going to talk to you because he's irrational at this point. Can you please inform him that I, that this is public? Yes, you're irrational. He just explained to you, sir, this is county on property, okay? So can you ban... We're asking you to leave. If you don't leave, you are subject to be charged with trespassing, okay? Can I ask what crime I've committed? That's all I want to know. How could I be trespassing when I haven't been put on trespassing here? But I haven't been put on trespassing. Where's your attorney? Can I talk? I, please, I, who's the chief police here? Be That'd be you. You're okay. the chief of police. So as the chief of police, not, you want to talk to the chief of police? Yes, I do. I do. Okay, and well, then, the and, and then, I want the mayor because for all of you to tell me well, that I fine. that I have to leave this department. publicly owned building, if I had a business here, which I'm conducting business, I would park in this parking lot here, correct? And I am in this public area of a parking lot, and what, he's going to tell what, me that I can't be here. What business are you conducting? So now we're getting personal with it. You want to know what I'm doing? I told you, I'm taking pictures because it's personal. It's I have a, I have a personal business that I run, and the First Amendment of the Constitution tells me I have the right to free press. Now, if you're going to wage war on my constitutional rights and tell me that I can't do it, please tell me that. If you're going to wage war on my constitutional rights and tell me that I can't film, I'm not starting anything. You started this by telling me that I'll be trespassed from a publicly owned area because I'm filming. Is it private? Is it private? That's all I want to know. Can anybody here tell me is this private property? It's owned by the county. Who pays for the county? Taxpayers. How can you tell me I can't be here? Do you expect me or not to be? But this is still public. That's not. That's like telling me. I'm, I'm talking to this officer. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am, I wouldn't because I. Because I. So 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 now you're telling me that I can't be here, ma'am. I'm talking to this young man here. Please don't. Please don't act like that. Please don't act like that, please. Because y'all are telling me that this is county property. Taxpayers pay for this, which means that y'all have no authority to make law-abiding people leave here. You you, you can't. But because I've been threatened with the arrest County and trespassing, I'm going to leave. Officer, I'm leaving. Come I don't want to answer any more questions. Uh, no, I'm leaving Come because this officer here is going to tell Bro, listen, if today. you're scared for your job, get a different job, brother. If you're scared, if you're that big of a sissy, get a different job, brother. Get a different job. Now you're making it personal. No, no, no. He's made it personal. I'm done talking to you. It's not. I won't. I'll do it under my time, okay? I'll do it under my time. But thank you for making yourself like an idiot on internet. Now you're making it personal. It's don't not personal. Call, don't call him a chief deputy an idiot. No, you understand? No, no, I said he do made not himself look like one. I have the right to okay. free speech. I have the right to free speech. You ain't going to come on this property officer, and disrespect. Oh, but but they can disrespect that? me, though. I, don't, I never heard of disrespect. By telling me that, that I can't be here. Sir, once again, 
But I'm, I'm asking you, and again, not. thank you for being professional because you're the only one that I can have a dialogue with. And I, and I respect that. But what I don't respect is these officers are telling me and intimidate me, telling me that I can't be here just because I make them suspicious. There's, that's not a felony or so a misdemeanor officer. Have you ever worked in law enforcement? I have, I have law enforcement attorneys all through my family. I understand that. I, 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 don't I, I, let I me talk just a minute. Yes, sir. Okay? Go ahead. This is a law enforcement center. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yeah, I do. We have narcotics officers. We have detectives. We have vehicles here that don't need to be seen by the ordinary public. You understand that? So, okay, that's a threat to their safety. Now, cash that's your a threat to their safety. safety. I understand that. Do, you do understand now, that. Cash do your you question. agree with me that te their so, video on social media is a threat to their safety? Now, can, you, do you agree with me? Can that? I ask you a question? Answer my question. I do, but I don't. At the same time, because if it can be seen from public, I can film or photograph it per the Constitution. If it's in public view, I can be seen. They don't hide these parking lots and garages that I went into to film this. This is in plain view right here. I'm having an uh, awesome dialogue. You stay right there, please. I'm talking to him. The chief proved to be the most uneducated of the group as he refused to let the captain continue his discussion, pushing him to stand aside. The officers just gave some empty threats, mostly because they knew that if they tried anything funny, it would all be on camera and they would lose their careers. Moral of the story is to always record your interaction with the police. What you saw here was just a deputy. Next up, we have a captain who completely lost his over a journalist. I'm explaining to you. Get your face get your out of my face. No, get you, your hand out of my face. You came up to me. On the 15th of July, independent journalist Leroy Truth exercised his First Amendment rights to expose Union City Mayor Brian Stack's tyranny. During the event, Union City Captain Omar Hernandez was also present. And what he did to the journalist will astound you. He told you you can't read the paper. I don't care what he said. It's a said. limited form. You have to care. It's a limited form. What does that mean? It's under the Atma rules. You have to sit down. So I can't read? That's, that's a legal proceeding that's going on with that. So? You need What's to sit down. We told you once, we're not going to tell you again. You need to sit down. So, can I talk about something else then? I'll talk, sit down, sir. I'll talk about something else then. Oh yeah, talk about something else that you can't talk about. They literally told him what he could talk about and what he can't. That's so I can't talk about his public charges? Okay, then we'll talk about something else. I mean, look at, look at his body language right there, how, how awkward that is. Okay, so, so you're basically proving my point right now. How, how sad is that, that I can't talk? So basically, Brian Stack is exaggerating and lying in order to file false charges and exaggerated charges against Leroy, against his f free speech. I'm gonna be, what, arrested if I can continue, continue to read it? They're basically your words, by the way. I was reading your words. So I, okay, this is, that's wild. Um, so basically they're saying that if Leroy continues to go to the mayor's office, that's considered Sorry, sir. harassment. This isn't appropriate for discussion here. Why, what's not appropriate? I don't know. Okay. litigation. So? Do you have to comment on something on the agenda or? No, it's public comment, this is my. So, so, okay, let me, let me keep it more general then. It, I invite Leroy, please continue to, to join me in the city hall as often as you want, whether you want to come every two weeks, every week. And if they arrest you for harassment, that's, that's un-American and that's wrong. And if they decide to file more charges against you, that is wrong. It's baffling how tyrants jump at the moment to defend their fellow corrupt officers. They can go to any length to keep their power intact. And in my opinion, I don't think someone could be, should be charged with a crime for criticizing the pathetic, can I use the word pathetic? Thank you, I appreciate it. The low quality p pretend police chief because he got his feelings hurt and he's un-American and he wants to file charges against a free person here. Anyway, I, I encourage you, Leroy, to continue to criticize the police chief, continue to, continue to criticize. And by the way, see, I want to, I want to I'm not allowed to consult my notes here. Well, you're allowed to. They can't tell you what to say or not. But I'm going to get arrested. You can't arrest you for that. What if I don't stop talking? Then I'll be arrested. Okay, so you're basically proving our point right here. How it's basically some communist dictatorship where Mayor Brian Stack, Mayor Mao Zedong Brian Stack um, dictates. First of all, this is another issue of uh, the lawyer over here use, misuses tax dollars and is basically working as the mayor's political advisor. Your role is only to stop lawsuits and to advise them on the law, not to be his personal uh, political uh, advisor, which you do all the time. Thank you. Hello, Mayor Sack. Now, I have a surprise for you. And you probably don't expect this from Leroy Truth, but because this is a night of awards and presentations, I have a special award for you, Mayor. Now, this award has never been given out in the history of the United States of America. And Mayor Sack, as you know, and are you going to do your same old you know, song and dance, ignore the public again? It's a shame. You should resign. But I'm going to give you this award, award anyway, because you've earned this. Now, I have received so many women, 
So many women have contacted me asking me to give you this award. And Mayor Stack and Senator Stack, head of Judiciary Stack, do you know what this award is? Well, I will tell you since you have become mute again, apparently. Your mother would not be proud. And this award was earned, excuse me, I have a First Amendment right and I am not, you're disrupting me. You are hurting my First Amendment right right now. So, excuse me, I'm talking, this is my five minutes. No, I don't have to respect anybody. This captain is a perfect example of a dictator. He treats the mayor like a brutal tyrant, revealing all about his leadership style. I am in, I am in a public commissioners. I don't have to respect them. You can't disrespect them. I could disrespect them if I want as well. It's you called First Amendment. Them. Now I need to give him his award now. This is a limited form. No. The Atma, you need to step back. No, step I do. Back. No, I do step not back need. Or to your time will be eliminated. No, I do not need to step back. First step back Amendment. Back. I can be anywhere. There is no statute or law. You name the statute or law that says I have to be. I don't care what they say. You're disrupting the meeting. Step they up. are disrupting my time. I want my time step back too. Behind the, you're no. Get arrested if you don't step back. I do not have to, you give me the statute step that back. says I You're have to step back. disrupting the meeting. I am talking. I I'm cannot be disrupting the meeting You're when I'm speaking. You're disrupting the meeting. No. I do not have to step back. There is no statute or law. I am in a public, am I in a public area or not right now? You are in a public area. Am I? But in, you're disrupting the meeting. I am speaking. I cannot be disrupting the meeting while I am speaking. You're yelling at me you're, right now. You're disrupting my time right now. You're disrupting the meeting. So you need to stand down and let me and, and protect my First Amendment rights. That's what you need to do. I'll protect it if you get behind the podium. No, I don't there. need to be behind the podium. There is Obviously, no... when you stand over here, you disrupt the meeting, so you need to get back there. Come on. I am in a public area here. So I'm going to give I'm going to give Mayor Stack this very special award now. Now, Mayor Stack... Get behind the podium. No, I am... Right, then I'm going to have to arrest you. I do, I do not do you, have to... Do you want to get arrested? Is that what you want? No, I do not want to get arrested. But right, I, I want to exercise. Disrupting the meeting. This I, is a limited forum. No, there's you certain are rules here. Time, place, and This is my. I'm explaining to you. Get your get face your out of my face. No, get you, your hand out of my face. You came up to me. Get your hands, your hands are in his face, face sir. Your, hand your hands are in his face. De escalate. Your hands are in my face. I'm de escalating. You're not listening. You're not de escalating. You have disrupted my five minutes. You're not listening. You're disrupting my five minutes. One more time. They told you were disrupting meetings. You know, you sit down, get behind the podium. You give me the statute or law that says I have to stand behind the podium. I don't go there. Have to sit. If this is what we like to call the land of the free, then all hope is lost. Give it the all on. I won't I'm go it's a limited form. You're disrupting a commission meeting. Time, time place, and manner, brother. Right, right, so I'm not going to play the train. A limited Are form is go time, place, no and manner. Everyone, go behind everyone has protected Are you my going right. To go behind the I don't have to go behind the podium. You're disrupting the meeting. I'm telling you right now, this you're disrupting the This is my five arrest. minutes. Arrest. Arrest. Your time has already arrest. expired, sir, so you're going to have to go. Your time is in the right. Hey, don't strong arm me. I'm not going to resist. I'm not going to resist. Here, take that. I am being arrested for exercising my First Amendment right here in Union City, New Jersey. Mayor Stack has commanded they arrest me. No strong arming. Yes. And I was arrested because I was exercising my First Amendment right and they were attempting to make me go behind a podium. There is no statute or law that says I have to go behind a podium. I am in a public area in front of the rope right here. Listen, I'll, I'll give up my life before I give up my rights, ma'am. Nobody's telling you to give up your rights. Can you believe this? He shouldn't be arrested. I'm arrested for First Amendment during my five minutes and the captain's saying I'm disrupting when he's yelling at me and he disrupts my five minutes of time. And then he says I have to respect the commissioners? That's a joke. They are not to be respected. They are disrespectable. Brian Stacks, Brian Stacks, Communist America right here. Yep, look at this. A independent journalist gets arrested for during his five minutes and a captain says I'm disrupting the meeting when he disrupts the meeting. Mind, these are the mindless goons. Leroy seemed pretty calm. It's like he knew what would happen if he decided to speak up, but he still did. Now, that takes a lot of courage. Goons right here. There's moralists and conformists. Conformists will do whatever they are told regardless of what is right. That's what the captain and Murrow, you know better. You could stand down. You don't have to do this, Murrow. So they have broken the 100% track record of protecting my constitutional rights. Okay, and I'm not resisting, I'm not going to resist. Yeah, can, can, not the law. No, there's no law or statute. And Rodriguez understood that law and statute. Because they tried to... Right, and Rodriguez uh, is smart, that's why. Yeah. He's intelligent. Right. This guy is not intelligent, he's a meat. Rodriguez did an awesome job, and, and one of the he's officers a, here told him to stand down. This is a communist... Captain, you're, you're so wrong, buddy. And you're going to lose your qualified immunity no here. You understand that, right? The podium. You're going to lose your qualified immunity, your pension. This is a man of limited intelligence. He does what he's told. Right as he walks past the American flag. The American flag means nothing to these people. Mm -hmm. How often do you arrest people for speaking, sir? And How often do you arrest people for speaking? You're going to arrest me too for speaking? Disrespect to the, uh, to... No, not you. Not no, you. not me? No. 
That's how do you sleep you're at disgusting. night? You're disgusting. You're disgusting. You're going to lose your qualified immunity. And that's accurate speech. That's not defamation. And the whole world is going to see you. You could just see the embarrassment and shame on the captain's face. That was not the face of a man who knew he was right. Or maybe he was way too dumb to know the difference between right and wrong. He is nothing but a thoughtless moron. Public, the manor was peacefully. Right. Yeah. He said because I didn't respect the commissioner. You have no idea what a public so forum is. He, this guy doesn't even know what a limited public forum, forum is. All right. You're a bum then and you're a bum now. That's my and that's opinion. accurate. That's not defamation. It's disgusting. I'll meet you at the oh, I'll meet you at the police station. You don't deserve that badge. You don't deserve no, that badge. I'm serious, you're an anti-American. We're gonna take that You're anti-American. Lawfully. That's what you are. Lawfully. And you're not intelligent enough to understand that. Don't disrespect them. Respect the public. You work for us. Respect the public who pay your tax, who pay your salary. Listen to me for a second. Yeah. Once, once he's arrested and you get him off, no, no, that you could get him. I can speak no, though. You yeah. could, uh, absolutely. I could record. I could. Speak. Could. I would uh, never interfere or course. obstruct or anything. No, but he's like a garbage that. human being, that captain. He's garbage. But I, but I know, I know, the, I know the law. That's I would never right. violate the law. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I appreciate it. That was the mama bearing you. Just, you know, I can't imagine doing that to another human being. Hand, imagine handcuffing cuffing a man because he was disrespectful to the ma to the mayor. The mayor. That's sick. Ima imagine, imagine having charges pressed on you because you made satire comics about a public figure. Sir, do you think that man should been should have been arrested for disrespecting the mayor? Do you think the mayor is is a a god? And now what they've done is they've invited Leroy back because now he has to come back for court, so good, good job. I'm sure they've learned their lesson and, of course, got their law sorted out perfectly. And now, let's move on to these next officers, who've decided to stop a random guy on public property and bully him. You me? Sir? Yeah. What are you filming? Well, what does it look like I'm filming? You can't film here, all right? Um, I disagree with that. I'm sorry? All right. Hey, Daddy. How are you doing today? I'm all right. Can I call you if you want to just be gone? What are you doing over here? Just videotaping. Why are you videotaping? Facility? Why are you videotaping the facility? Okay. Just my own purposes. I don't answer questions. Do you have any idea, anybody? I don't answer questions. Okay, we got a call for a suspicious person, okay? Because this is kind of suspicious behavior. Okay, what so, crime do you suspect me of committing? All right, before we act stupid, okay? Let's just talk about when you're standing in front of a facility that's a government building, and you're filming it like that, you caught the attention of the security guards, right? There might be some cause for concern for who you are and if you intend to do anybody any harm over here. These officers become selectively dumb when they see a person who stands up to their tyranny. The auditor clearly told her that he didn't answer questions, but she kept going at it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you to identify yourself. Well, do you know that I am, we're standing in a public property? That's fantastic. And I'm unless police, you're, okay? I understand. I'm investigating something right now. Okay, I'm so am I. Service, okay? So am I. What are you investigating? I'm a private investigative uh, journalist gathering content for a story. And you should know that unless I'm being suspected of a crime, I don't have to provide ID. Well, until I can determine that you are not committing a crime, I'm gonna ask you for your ID. Well, I think I'm gonna have to decline to that, ma'am. Do you have a, what's your name and badge number? You can, you can decline, it's on my chest. What's your name? I don't see your name in your chest. Well, you haven't identified yourself to me either. So I don't have to, ma'am. You're a government official. You're okay. entitled to identify That's yourself. Fantastic. What What's your name and badge number? If you do not identify yourself to me, yes. we continue to do this, let's not make a bigger thing than we have to. Okay? It's not. We're, I'm just I'm doing a lawfully you protected... Right. Do I'm, you have, can you identify yourself as, as a journalist then? I don't have to, ma'am. This is the United yes, States yes, of America. No, okay. I don't, ma'am. I think you need to review the laws. Maybe you need okay. to review the laws. Nope. Maybe you need to review the laws, ma'am. Okay. What's going to happen Do you have a supervisor? Is, what's going to happen is you're going to identify yourself. 
if you choose not to identify yourself, because now I've asked you about four times already. Not gonna happen. Okay? Then this is gonna rise to the level of obstruction of justice because I have to figure out what, what crime. What what crime do you, you suspect won't tell me? me? What you're doing here? I already Your told you, ma'am. Is highly suspicious. I already told you, ma'am. No, no, you're not. Explaining Can I speak anything. to your supervisor? If you, if you just if you simply identify well, yourself, well, ma'am, and explain what's going on here, then we don't have an issue. I already told you. But I'm gonna start you. to get aggravated well. if you take up more of my time today. Do you understand? After she felt powerless in front of the innocent man, which she was. She decided to do something really stupid. Reporting a public building, unless you're com you're suspecting me of committing any crimes, then I, I suggest to for I'm you to treat me, ma'am. Don't put your hands on me, ma'am. Don't put your hands on me. There. Why are you, ma'am? Why are you? Am I being detained? Put that down. I'm, ma'am. You have anything in your hands right now? Put that I, down. I'm ordering you to put that down. I do not out consent to any seizures or searches. I do not consent to any seizures or searches. That's fine. You don't have to. What crime do you suspect me of committing? What time? What crime? My safety. Am I being I'm asking you to put that down. She's patting you down for what? I'm not no asking problem. you. I'm telling you. This is an Ill right illegal right detention. Right what you're doing right now? Yes, it is because I am a private citizen gathering content for a story and you guys are harassing me. I will file a formal complaint on you, ma'am. I guarantee you, you're gonna leave here before I do and you're not gonna get my ID. I'm not having a seat. Okay, I'm a, I am a, I am a private saying, I citizen. Right now. You guys, okay, you guys are violating my rights. Seat. You guys are violating my rights. I have not crossed any. What's your name and badge number, sir? What's your name? Nobody, nobody's identifying themselves. I'm holding my phone because I'm. This is for my record. This is for my. This is for my safety, ma'am. Hold your phone. Have a seat. This is for my safety. Do you have any body cams? Your. She's. Have a seat. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. You know, you have. You failed to identify yourself. As a government official, I demand for you to contact your supervisor right away. You're her supervisor, sir. What's your name and badge number, sir? That's four twenty two. Okay, and what's your last name, sir? Listen to me, what, is, what's, what are you doing here today? It's beyond shameful what these corrupt officers did. They totally forgot that they were public servants who were supposed to protect people's rights, not their own egos. For a story, there's no reason for you guys to put your hands on me and search me and do what you do because you, this is not, not Germany, this is the United States of America. And, I'm, and I will be filing a formal complaint on you and you will be hearing from me. I promise. Idea, sir? sir? Do you have an idea on sir? Idea? I do have an ID, I don't have it on me, and, and, and with all due respect, you should know that unless I'm being suspected of a crime, I, sh I do not have to provide that information. On the other hand, you guys have failed all to provide me where with you, your name. Where did you park your vehicle? Ma'am, that's none of your concern. No, it really is my That's concern. none of your concern. Exactly my this concern. is the United... You guys do, listen, you guys do whatever you guys want, you have to do then. Sir, what's your name? I'm not answering questions. Okay, we can do this very simply. We just want to make sure, verify who you are, okay? What you're doing is engaging in suspicious activity. We got called here. So I'm being detained. Right now. What? You, then you have no authority of well, detaining me. Well, this should be a consensual. This sir. should be a consensual conversation. No, what's your name and batch number, sir? He has, he has the thing. Listen, you don't speak for him. What's your name and batch number? Officer Lequali. Can we? Batch four nine. I appreciate that, sir. Okay. So listen. I'm asking what your name is, okay? Not gonna happen. Okay. We, so you guys have... go ahead and do whatever you need to do. I'm not gonna answer any more questions. I will be contacting my lawyers for what you guys just did to me. This is invasion of my privacy. This is invasion of my rights. You guys are putting your hands in my pocket. I did not concern to any seizures or searches and you guys will be hearing from me. I promise you. I promise you. I promise all of you. Thank you for identifying yourself, sir. The auditor really put them in their place. This is how we should fight back against these corrupt people because if we don't, they will not stop. And this lady right here, which I don't know her name yet, 516, will be hearing from me. And I'm sure you guys have a captain for the internal affairs that will that, that's gonna wanna have a talk about this. I promise you, I promise you. You have illegally detained me. You put my hand in that burning hood, you're gonna hear from me. I think you like this attention right no, now. No, you guys are wasting our money. You guys for no, work for the people. You're wasting my time. No, no, well then leave, you're free to go, you're dismissed. Because what you we pay for your salary, and you need to stand away from me because I you're pay my salary, all you right? you pay your salary. Uh, as, far know, as, as far as I know, as far as I know, we pay leave. for your you'd salary. Be, you'd be free to leave. 
if, we, if you were willing to be I will be free to leave and I'm not going to complain with you something. because you are a people and I'm not a f criminal for you guys to be treating me like this okay well well apparently you would do the same thing if somebody approaches you demanding stuff from you after you haven't done absolutely you're nothing filming, you're filming at a restricted area they have they have legitimate concerns about why you're over here they can have that's whatever why, concerns you and you guys should be professional enough to to post up over here and ask people whatever it is that you need to ask uh, in a nicely to, manner not you. aggressive manner like the well, unidentified the officer over here does well, well i don't know you but i appreciate you identifying yourself I would definitely, yes, I would definitely speak to you, sir. What was your name again? Laquali. Laquali. Okay, well, I, well, sir, I appreciate you identifying yourself as uh, the as your duties, you know, demand. You were filming the, the property. I am. Okay, you can't film the property. Then that's, that's... That's why we're here. That's not... That's the only reason why I'm I here. am going to have to disagree with you, sir. Because this is a public what's, sidewalk. What's the reason why? Stand what's up, please. You're under arrest. I'm under arrest. Yep. Stand up. Oh, for what crime? Right now, disorderly conduct. Sir, I have. You get that in court. You have the right to remain silent. Suggest you. Exercise. How? What? How is it? I'm talking to you guys. You guys have illegally detained me. This is okay. not. When you go to law school, you cannot do that. Sir, in court. sir, that this is not right. Yeah. This is not right. These were supposed to be law enforcement officers. Yet they have complete disregard for the highest laws of the land, of the United States Constitution, and the Bill of Rights. These are the laws they should be protecting and enforcing. Unfortunately, so many of these police officers believe that the Constitution is actually in the way of doing their jobs. If you think these officers were corrupted, then wait until you see the next case where officers failed to pay any attention to a woman who would go on to do something terrible. On August 22, 2022, Cleveland police officers arrived at the scene of a car crash. While there, they investigated the situation, but somehow missed the most important details. I was just in my house sleep. I just got woke up out of my sleep. I came out to this. That's my car right there. So your car was parked right here, right? Right here, yeah. She pushed my car from there all the way right there. I don't know what happened between them two, though. Okay. And you have no idea how that happened? This is your car, right? Yes. Okay. Morning. She doesn't want you guys either? No, but she's not going to have a choice because she's drunk. And her face is all blowing up. Ma'am. 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 I'm not chasing her. I'm not chasing her. She doesn't want us. She doesn't want us. Okay. You guys 30? Yep. What zone are you? Adam 15. The woman they just ignored was a key part of this whole acne yet the officer was too lazy to chase her. This is what our police officers are like. They can move mountains to serve their egos, but when it comes to serving justice, they don't do anything. So, she, literally, she didn't want to talk to you guys? Not no, I said, what's going on? She said, nothing. Ain't nothing going on. I think the other car was parked, and then the other one, the driver and the passenger took off. Oh, no, I believe you, but... You guys need anything from us? Nope. Which one info you have? And which one car? You want me to get on? I'll, I'll get these two. You can get that. I don't get this one. Okay. You 
do I need a, a report for a number report for my insurance company? Yeah, I'm gonna get you a report number. What did you want to do with your car? You want to tow it or you want us to tow it? Can y'all tow it? I can tow it, it's no problem. Yeah. What's your badge? The woman returned to her car and sat down. However, since she was uncooperative, the officer decided to ignore her. They got the video. Huh? They got the video. He just he just airdropped me the video. Okay. What happened? You might want to look at that. Ma'am. Excuse me. Yes. What's going on? They, they, they hit her, man. They jumped on me and crashed my car. That's what happened. Questions for us? Um, I just need the number so I can call my insurance company. Yeah, that's a, this is going to be the port number, okay? Oh, okay. Right there in the bottom. Okay. That's both of us here. Alright, y'all gonna tow it for me? Uh, it's up to you, it's your car. We yeah. can, we gotta tow it, so that's it. Yeah, tow it, get out of here, man. please. I appreciate you. Alright. You got the boat, uh... I haven't gotten it, they're not bad. Alright, I'm gonna get You got anything else in the car? Huh? You got anything else in the car? Any values? If you want to take it? This officer was wildly incompetent. I mean, the woman just crashed her car. She was limping and refused any medical treatment. There was obviously something wrong, but the officer couldn't see any of it. Info received for a OH1. Code 3, Three vehicles. How can one be publicly intoxicated, have an accident, and then walk away from the crime scene like nothing had happened? That's just outrageous. How you doing, ma'am? What's going on? Good, good. How can I help you? Hey, Harvey. Back. What's that? 193. It's 26, right? 26,
don't know what you want to do with her. It's insane that the woman repeatedly walked in and out of the crime scene like it was Disneyland. These officers were some of the most incompetent ones I have ever seen. Six hours later, she returned with a group that included her 16-year-old son, 19-year-old daughter, and 43-year-old friend to seek revenge, according to investigators. The group shot Joseph Owens, who investigators said had nothing to do with the earlier crash and fight. It was painful to watch these officers. But wait until you see this next case. Public servants try to get a man to stop recording in a public building, and instantly regret doing so. Mind if we go back up to the front? You can go up to the front. Yeah, no, no, you and I. On June 10th, 2024, an auditor by the name of Kansas City Accountability uploaded a gripping video capturing his visit to the bustling city hall downtown. As he stepped into the building, an unusual sight caught his attention, leaving him seething with frustration. Did you call me? Did you need me? Yeah, just not at the moment. Okay. No, I'm just looking. Is all this public right here? I didn't see. I didn't see any signs. So, okay. I don't want to go anywhere where I'm not supposed to be. No, not at the moment. You can continue. I'm gonna let you get, take one guess. I'm recording. Are you recording? Yeah. Uh, who are you recording for? Myself. Huh? Myself. Yourself? Yeah. Um, Isn't this all public? I asked the lady a friend. She told me I can come back here. Yeah, but who do you need to speak? No one at the moment. I was going to... Okay, come on. 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 She, she said I can come back here. She said this is all public. Yeah, yeah, no, but I don't, I don't want to be on your video, sir. Excuse me? I don't want to be on your video. Can you take me yeah, that, that's, that's fine. Are you a public worker? Uh-huh. You working? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, well, yeah. Why, why, yeah. What, what's your name? I, I didn't give it. You didn't give it? No, I, I, I didn't. Not at okay. the moment. All right. You so mind if I get we, one? Can we, uh, you mind if we go back up to the front? You can go up you the front. Yeah, no, no, you and I. Because I'm... Not at the moment. Not she the asked moment. me if it, I just asked her if I come back here. Is it public? She said I could. Hey, can can we talk in the hallway for a second? Yeah, I'll meet you out there in a second. Give me a second. We, no, but um, really don't really don't want you to record up here because why not? Because you know I don't I don't, I don't want to be recorded. I don't know if these guys do or not. We have meetings here. So uh huh. This public servant's acting was out of this world. He was making it appear as if the auditor was doing something illegal when he was well within his rights. But you have yeah, to give cool. people's yes. permission to record. Not, not in public. There's no expectation of. There's no. I'll meet you out there. Go ahead. No, no, no. Okay. I'll meet well, you. I don't. Can you, Louise, can you call security? I'll call security. Yeah, can you call security? Yeah, I, I don't think that's actually necessary, but. I don't really think that's actually necessary, but. It might be because. Because what? We all know this. That's fine. If you got confidential information, I'm not trying to get that. No, you need to come on back. Uh, well, we have confidential, uh, sir, please. We have confidential information that you're not supposed to be back here. Uh, but the lady up front said I could. That's, she made a mistake. Can you come on up? They're on their way with me. Is this public access back here, yeah. sir? No, no, no. Where's the sign? 
So let me ask you this. Come, come, come here real quick. When you walk in the front, come here. Let me show you something. And when you come in here, where is it no longer public access at? I'm going to show you. Show them. No, I'm going to show you right here. Because you have to have a badge in order. She allows you to come in so she can speak to you. But once you get past this point, you can't. You have to have an appointment or talk to me. And I can even show you the badge access right here on the side of the door. So far, everyone has been treating the man like he was some sort of criminal. You'd think when the officers arrive, they'd know better, right? Well, you'd be shocked at what the officer had to say. Hey, can you send Deb and Myra up to uh, Beverly? Okay, all right, thanks. Bye. Yes, sir. How you doing, sir? How you doing, sir? No, you're not supposed to be back. In she said I could. She said this is the lady in the front, when I, right when I came in. I let her know I'm not trying to go anywhere I'm supposed to be. Am I allowed to come back here? Is this public access? She said it is. And there's, there's no signs. Yeah, but well, we don't, we don't. They're asking you to stay in this general area here unless you're called back to one of the offices. And, again, sir, look, there's there's no That's signs. Correct. That's correct. We didn't, he's right. We didn't call you back to the office, so. I mean, you, there's you no. You have to stay right here in this area. But there's no signs saying. Your office is back here if they're restricting you from going back But here. But but they can't do that. This is public. This is a public building. I understand that this is a public building, mm -hmm. but there's restrictions on this. Building. It's open. You know, it's Where's the sign? Well, this it's, is just a lobby. It right should be here. a sign right there saying, "Hey, no, no one, no one called." Authorized back. person. That's this fine. is our lobby. But, but I asked this young lady, you "Can to, I go?" You have I to stay here and wait. To be and what was your name and badge number, just for the record, so we know who we're speaking to? What's your name, badge number, sir? What's your name, sir? And your badge number? I don't have a badge number. You have employee ID number. I'm not giving you my employee ID number. It's part of your policy. No, it's not. Okay. I am not uh, okay. obligated to give you that. Oh, okay. My okay. ID. We'll, we'll be there. So they saying uh, with no signs that I can't walk in the lobby. Exactly. Down right here. I have to kind of go right here. Just moving forward, it'd be good to have like a sign on the 12th floor. They have okay, a sign okay. right there saying uh, no trespassing. I wouldn't, you're in public. You don't have the right permission to record. You know I'm in a public building. I still don't have the right to record. Right, you. Not to be okay. okay. But would you be able to tell this gentleman I have the right to record him while he's in public? You want the Cobra I tying? Or are you going to violate my rights there too? I never stated that. Okay, well, can you tell this gentleman if this is the public? He said this is the lobby. There go the seating. Can you please educate this gentleman that I have the right to record him right here? He does actually have the right to record within this area here. Okay. As long as he's here and you're visible, he can record okay. you. Okay. I appreciate but, that. I appreciate that. We're going to honor it this time, but I will be back. And if it's not a sign, I can walk through there. There's no sign. It's a public building. I understand building. that, but this is also for employees. You know, de-escalate. This time I'm gonna honor it. The officer swiftly recognized that it was not in his favor to challenge the auditor. However, he refrained from acknowledging that it was their responsibility to have a sign in place. Recording? Huh. You're not to be recording people. Why not? You don't have their permission. Is, is this a public building? But we're not public. <laughs> you work for the public. It doesn't matter. It do matter. You know what the idea is. You don't have the permission to record. Mm-hmm. Can I get your badge? Sure. Look at it. Okay. Come right ahead. What's your name? You don't need to know my name. I'm just asking. Okay. Yes, they just did. I was just coming to record. Is recording Yeah. I got some business cards as well. Is there any business-related questions we can assist you with? Uh, not at the moment. You were just tucked in your office and you came up to the camera. Okay, that's fine. This will give me the right to record you. There's no expectation of privacy in public, man. Okay, I'll wait for him. There was not one educated person in that building. Their ignorance was beyond appalling. And the worst part is that they were not civilians. They should have known better. Well, if I told you, would you, that would, that would, that would, you, exactly. Okay. 
and bank business cards are there, minor home repairs there. That was that. So as far as going around in other places of the office. I didn't go nowhere. I've been standing right here since I walked in. So again, that, that, that's, you said you were getting business cards. So I got those. So I pointed you to the business cards. So we got the business cards. Anything else we can help you with? Nothing at the moment. I let them know they can get back to work. I, I didn't say nothing to anybody. Everybody came and spoke to me. What, what office is that? City planner? You don't help people in the office? I mean, I am here to help you, but what are you trying to do? Is it a public office? The whole building is a public Oh, okay. Office. Let's go in there. No, that's my office and my boss, but here, what are you trying to do? Get a business card. Business card? For, yeah. Are you trying to do a, a permit? I'm just trying to start off with just getting a business card and uh, I'll give whoever a call back if I can. How do you get in the office? Where's the main? Oh, that's not right. Oh, okay. But if you tell me what you're trying to do, I'll help you. I'm just trying to get a business card. I didn't say nothing. I didn't. I didn't say nothing to nobody. I didn't say nothing to her. Because he posts on YouTube, so don't even, don't even waste it. Yeah. Is, is security coming? Yeah, they, they should be on the elevator. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're gonna hold tight. Do your thing, man. Yeah, man. You know, you, I, the thing is this. Check this out. You call the cops, and they on my side. They on my People, side. Yeah, that's Because they, they law enforcers. All right, bro. Good luck, man. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm going to the fifth floor. Hey, what's her name? There you guys. So we've been waiting right here for the security or law enforcement. It looked like they probably not cunning. They probably feel like he can handle himself. Hey, bro, man. You say the fifth floor? So we gonna, we gonna keep it pushing. This will probably be my last stop, you guys. Uh, I'm pressing on time. So uh, stay tuned. And also, you guys, everybody is watching. Please give me some tips, some questions I can ask them since I'm going office to office. And best believe we are coming back. So, uh... Stay tuned, y'all. We made it back down to the first floor, you guys. This is like the lobby. It's kind of dope. I didn't get to show y'all this when we first walked in. That wraps up today's video. It's crucial to hold corrupt cops accountable and set a strong example. Share your thoughts in the comments if you agree. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to check out this next video right here. This is Detective Mystery signing off.